the controversy, the drama. Uh, woo! Hi guys, welcome to today's very controversial video. If you've been with me for a minute and then some, then you know that way back when I had a little tiny bit of an issue with Too Faced Cosmetics. I want to announce publicly they do have different ownership. I don't want to get too much into the drama. I went out and bought an entire face of Too Faced myself. I spent my own money around a thousand bucks getting everything from primer to brows to lips to blush to foundation to the whole big thing. We're just gonna go ahead and get started and chat about products. Some of these items I have used before my Tati time out with the brand. A few of these items are items that have been with the collection for a very, very long time. A lot of it is the newer stuff. So I have a good mix of things. This one right here, the Hangover 3-in-1, you can use this as a primer and setting mist. It has coconut in it. I do remember loving this. So we're gonna start on a good note. Mm. Smells like a coconut slushy. Like it has coconut, but coconut popsicle vibes, if you know what I'm saying. It does feel really nice and hydrating. We're gonna go straight on top of that with the Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer. This is silicone free. A lot of people really, really super love this. I liked it, but it's not like when I stopped using the brand, I was like, oh no, whatever will I do? It was just a nice primer. Recently, I've been into this thing with primers that are not silicone based where I really enjoy putting them on with a brush. Don't really know why, it's just been my thing. Hydrating. We have got concealer. This is the Born This Way Ethereal Light Illuminating Smoothing Concealer. I have never tried this. It's waterproof. I'm really excited to give this one a go. I do have the Born This Way Oil-Free Undetectable Medium to Full, which means you can layer it up, coverage foundation, this one I loved. This is one that I have missed and I'm very excited to try this again. They do have a newer version that is matte, but for me, I'm like, absolutely no, we are combo, leaning dry. And lately, every time I try something matte, I realize I've arrived to this new era of my life where I have to not do that anymore because somewhere in my brain, I still think I am this teenager with cystic acne and really, really oily skin, but your skin does change through your life. So make sure you're using a product, especially foundation that is super suitable to the result that you want. And I don't wanna look crunchy, so I don't need to be using matte foundation anymore. All right, this is the shade Buttercup. There was a different shade that was slightly darker that I was gonna go for. We're hoping this works. Has almost a gel texture, that's interesting. Like it's not thick, it's not putty thick. It has some kind of a slip to it. Oh, I'm having flashbacks. You guys, I went on my channel back in the day before I fully even understood what internet drama was. And I shared a horrific experience I had at the infamous Too Faced Peach Party and that I cried the whole way home. Like at the time, my feelings were genuinely hurt. And then it turned into this bizarre thing online where the owner's sister was like involved on Twitter and it was super weird. And I was not the only influencer that had weird things happen with Too Faced. I was definitely not alone. There were some strange vibes going on. And at the time I decided the best thing I could do is say, I just, you know, you guys are asking like, why aren't you reviewing new Too Faced? And I'm like, because I don't vibe with the brand. And and that's why, I don't know, things felt a little more casual back then where you could just hop on and be like, hey, so many people are asking me about this, so I'm gonna address this really publicly, really quickly, and we'll just keep it moving. But then it turned into this weird thing where it became like a drama circuit and story. It was a whole life lesson, learning lesson, but it is what it is. They have new ownership and I do love a lot of their products. They have a couple of new ones that I had my eye on and I was like, you know, this is just me being stubborn and kind of ridiculous ridiculous at this point. So let's give it a go and play with a full face of Too Faced products and just see how it goes. You know? Maybe I am still a little bit stubborn because I will not be reviewing Polite Society. Bless it. Good luck to you. I just, you know, no thank you. This is gorgeous, okay? This does not disappoint. Do we see what that just did for my skin? Light beige, 
This is hydrating. It is non-comedogenic. This is water-based. It has glycerin in it and it's long-wearing, photo-friendly, has hyaluronic acid, coconut water, alpine rose, just a lot of really beautiful things going on in this formula. I like it so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're gonna go into the translucent powder. They only have one loose powder, one shade. This is it. It's said to work for everyone. This says, ready, set, perfect. Our silky, lightweight, oil-absorbing powder blends effortlessly to set makeup while blurring imperfections for a gorgeous veil of luminosity. You are left with a complexion so flawless and natural. They will think that you're born this way. P.S. you guys, the dress that I'm wearing, this is Target. I cannot believe how many of you bought this dress when I posted one static photo of this Target $32 dress. Oh my goodness, I will insert the photo. It is the tackiest photo ever. I'm literally modeling in a grocery store because I, for once in my life, liked my outfit while I was grocery shopping. So I was telling James, like, hey, will you take a photo of me? And literally the man, I love him so much. I do not have an Instagram husband. I do not have one that like knows the angles or anything. So they end up blurry and like, I'm weird. And, like my arm's stiff and like, I'm not a great model, but man, I'm trying to share more of my fashion finds because this is a slam dunk. Like my own sister texted me and she was like, hey, um, I just bought that dress too. So cute. It's the kind of dress that will look good on any shape or size. I love it. I feel like I'm wearing pajamas when I'm wearing it. It's so loose and flowy and comfortable. So I wanted to share that. How do I open this? Is this already open? Oh, there's no plastic. Okay. So we're already in here. There's a cute little heart cut out with the holes that the powder comes through. Super cute. It doesn't look translucent. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. I'm putting this under the eyes. I do like that concealer. I think I need a different color. I kind of thought that was gonna be the case, but the foundation, ooh, already back in love. So while we're talking about fashion, I also will mention that I painted my own nails last night. I have not gone back to gels. I am wearing Cajun Shrimp from OPI. It went on so easily. I have not had an easier time putting on a red or a bright in forever. And I don't know why OPI polish is working for me so well. I kind of felt like maybe they were outdated, like no offense to OPI, but it was just like, oh, there's like exciting new brands that I wanna try and kind of didn't use them for a while. Then I went with my sister and I got my nails done and I was wearing Lisbon once more and it lasted for like, literally 10 days straight. And I'm like, that never happens with regular nail polish anymore. So then I went to Target and I got Cajun Shrimp and this might be the best color and the best formula. All that I'm wearing, like, you know, jewelry and the dress, everything I'm gonna put in one link in my description box moving forward. So it'll be like my outfit and then makeup worn will be another and we'll just do that because I'm on a mission right now to level up. Okay, I could have done a little bit better blending with the foundation. I'm noticing that the blend around the nose is questionable. And now that I aggressively rub my nose, it's probably looking even worse. Sometimes with the foundation, if you go in with a magnifying mirror, you can see like where it gunked up and dried down a little unblended. And I'm really particular with how things lay down and set. So this is definitely a foundation that is gonna be long wear, like that's what I'm getting from it. But you wanna make sure you go in and blend all of those really difficult areas, maybe with a brush, something like this can work for those areas but I'm liking it. I'm not mad about it. I like it. Let's go into bronzer highlight blush. Let's go into the bronzer first. Milk Chocolate Soleil. Used to wear this one all of the time. Updated packaging. Maybe they have updated the formula. We're gonna find out. Okay, we're gonna go in with a fluffy brush. It smells like a packet of Swiss Miss. So I am in my level up era where I am literally ordering so many things, trying so many things, trying new makeup, really investing in me. And I haven't felt like I could do that in a long time. And I'm just in it right now. So I have a lot to share with you all. 
And so that's like the new shopping frenzy that's happening. If you're like, whoa, whoa, like Abercrombie and Target and Amazon, like what is she doing? I'm trying to find my style and my lane and not just like schlep around in sweatpants and feel pathetic because dang it, I have done that for too long where I'm like, it just doesn't matter. I'm going to the grocery store, no one cares. I'm just running some errands. No, I'm going to the PO box, no one cares. And I have this like no one cares attitude and it's just gone on for too dang long. And I've started like dressing up a little bit more like we had a doctor's appointment or James had a doctor's appointment the other day and I went with him and I was wearing like high heels and cute jeans and cute jewelry and a cute shirt and I looked at James and I was like I feel like me like this is tripping me out because I have felt so resistant to dressing up since moving because like not many people here where I live dress up on the regular, but I've started to kind of put a little more effort beyond just like when I'm filming. Cause when I'm filming, I have fun doing this and all of that. But then like there are other days where I'm like, well, who cares? And it's honestly like gotten to a place where I'm two extremes of myself and I'm like, whoa, we need to find balance. So I'm trying to find my own signature style again and I'm enjoying it and having fun with it. So that's kind of what you guys are seeing. What does this smell like? This smells like an expensive perfume. What is that about? All right, I'm wearing the shade Velvet Crush. This is the Cloud Crush blush. It is a blurring blush. Give that to me because I want everything blurred. Sometimes I get so overwhelmed with all of the makeup being so dang shiny. And then you go out in public and you're like, I look like a dang fool. Everything's exaggerated. Why am I doing this to myself? I have a trend alert. I really think that we're gonna get back into blurred makeup where it's not so shiny. I feel like shiny makeup, cream makeup looks so good in camera. Wherever you're posting like this close up, it can look really cute like right after you apply it. And then it just starts to look really, really terrible really, really quickly. So I think I'm gonna go back to a lot of powders and then probably change my mind and then go back and forth. I don't even know. Uh, this did not swatch well in Sephora. This is the Moon Crush highlighter. And I believe this is the only highlighter that they have. I have the shade Shooting Star. Well, that's better here. Maybe so many people had touched it. It just got too crunchy in Sephora, but I was like, man, there's like two shades. That's all we have to work with for highlighter. No, that's an absolute pass. My pores are screaming at me. Are you kidding me? but I'm gonna, I'm committed. We're going to the other side. Ugh. If you ever run into this issue, just take the excess on your puff or whatever brush you use to powder the face and kind of press things down, you know? That is a strong, strong highlight. You know what highlight I am loving? That's actually like sitting on my vanity. Rivalry, cause this is like the same type of color and it's in Sephora as well. Anastasia's Sun Idol. Oh my gosh. I don't know what the deal is with this one, but it like literally glistens on the skin without exaggerating anything. Okay, moving on. I need to do brows. They do have a laminating brow set, but I don't think I got a brow product. So BRB. While I'm fussing with my brows for a moment, I'll share some tea about Too Faced that I didn't even know, like legitimately promise you I did not even know this, but right, uh, not to bring up other things I don't wanna bring up, uh, but when Bi Sister dropped, literally the same day, I feel I went on Twitter and I saw a campaign for Born This Way and James Charles was involved with this campaign and it was his photo. And the slogan was something along the lines of I'm a liar. And I was like, oh, 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 like, oh my God, they're all gonna come for me. And like, it was so uncomfortable. I never anticipated any of these events to go as wide or big as they did. And that was such a shock to my system. And it definitely makes me take pause with what I say now, even though I feel like things have changed dramatically and people don't hinge into drama the same way. Like they touch base with it and like maybe it's sensational for a moment, but then it gets moved on and, and we're onto something new. Back then it felt like 
if you made a move that the public had anything to say about, it was just like, we're sinking our teeth into this and we're not letting go. And literally I can't go on like a live or do anything anywhere without someone saying time and place or like drudging up the past and just really going in on me. And it makes me feel like, you know, will I ever outrun that? You know, I don't know. But during that time, like so many things happened that lined up that just should not have happened that I had no way of knowing about. It ended up being just bigger than I thought. I think, yeah, I don't know if we'll share that story or not, but that one, that happened. And I was just like, oh my gosh, my beef with Too Faced was just personal. And you can say like, oh, big baby, but like, it's my channel. I can say what I want to say and like what I like and support brands that I want to. And I don't have to support brands that I don't vibe with. And like, that's my prerogative. I will also share that during that time, you know, and this is like how influencers would support one another. Like back when I was on good terms, I knew that James was working with Too Faced a ton. So if we were ever doing anything together and I wanted to make a joke or roast Too Faced or say something that I felt was on brand for me and honest from my heart, he'd be like, no, 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 please don't. And I, you know, adhered to that. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's interesting. Um, okay, so. Brows are looking, this pencil is so good. This is from Benefit. This is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. I am so into Benefit brows right now, like so into it. We are back in love. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's laminate them. Let's laminate them. Fluff and hold. Bend and snap. All right, this I showed in my little mini haul of all this stuff. Like literally I was like sweaty and out in like quadrillion degrees because here in Texas, it is already so hot. I was wearing jeans and I'm like, I'm uncomfortable. Like I am sweaty central. Um, so I came back from my major shopping event and I did like a quick little 90 second haul and I had no idea. I guess this, you guys told me, <gasps> oh, okay. Yeah. There is a secret element. The fluff and hold has a secret passcode, a secret situation in the lid. That's pretty cool. All right, now the one I'm loving to fluff up my brows right now is from Benefit. It's their fluffy wax and nothing else compares except for maybe the Ardell, but that one is like legit lamination. Like you want to be really careful with that one, but it, your brows are going nowhere when you use that one. We'll see how this goes. That did kind of nice, but I need to go and get like a professional, like the last time I tried to cut my own brow, I cut into my brow and I looked crazy for quite a while. All right, so now we're gonna go in to lips. First, I just wanna put this on just because and maybe take it off because I have lip liner and lipstick and all the other things. But this right here is the Kissing Jelly Gloss in Cotton Candy. Oh my gosh, let's see if it's blue. First off, is it blue? Can make your teeth look whiter. Blue gloss will do that. It does really smell like cotton candy. It's kind of satisfying. It feels like a gel oil thick gloss. It's a little thicker than most of the oil glosses. I need a napkin, but that scent is so appealing. More is more, we're going into the Lip Injection Extreme Lip Shaper. I have high hopes for this. I'm really excited. This is so my speed. You get into it by cranking her up like this. Don't know that I love the shape of the actual liner. It's kind of thick. There's no point to it. I'm the queen of wanting a pointed liner so I can really precisely get in there. But let's just kind of see how this goes. These are reminding me of the Essence. Is it Essence or Catrice? The plumping glosses or the plumping liner. Those ones are really good. This is even spicier. Oh my God. It's like I took a jalapeno and went, mm. I hope I don't break out from that. Oh shoot, gosh darn it, dang it. I didn't try this. This is the contour stick. I had a cream and now I have powder everywhere. Dare I put this on at my nose a little bit? Let's walk on the wild side, shall we? I was so excited about this one too in the store. I was actually the most excited about this one, which is like killing me right now because I forgot I had it and how excited I was to try it. And I got home and I actually contemplated taking off my makeup and sitting down and putting on my makeup. Then I was like, wait, you know, just wait. Yeah, that's good. My nose just went, mm. 
My lips are roasty toasty on fire right now. Oh my gosh. I need someone to hold my hand. I don't know if I can do that again. I'm having a hard time talking. Uh, okay, one of the things I love doing recently, and let me put on some shadow insurance first, but I'm gonna take this in the crease. I love taking a cream contour in the crease. This old friend, this works, the shadow insurance. Someone mentioned you really have to like shake it up and that is kind of true. As you use the product more, it can kind of separate a little bit, but this one is really nice. It's kind of like the more classic Urban Decay formula with a little bit something extra is what I would say. This one does not completely cancel out discoloration on the lid the way say Pinchily Paint Pot will, but it's not totally... It is not totally clear like the Primer Potion from Urban Decay. F me with this lip liner. I cannot use that again. I am in pain. We're going in the crease with the contour. I do love doing that. I need some lipstick on. Maybe that will help. This smells so delicious. This is the Coco Bold Empower Cream Lipstick. I have strawberry milkshake. Love the packaging. So sexy. Pop her on. We're gonna stick with the theme. Oh God, we're going for it. The Lip Injection Lip Gloss. This one's minty though, so maybe it will like kind of cool things off is what I'm thinking. I look good. Woo! Um, okay, shadow, shadow. <laughs> We've got shadow. This is actually so gorgeous, you guys. The Born This Way, the Natural Nudes. Now this is one of those palettes that when this launched, I was like, I wanted it, but I'm like, I'm not breaking my, my no Too Faced. I don't know if it was a vow. I was like, I'm not buying Too Faced, so no. But like I would look at it in Sephora and be like, it looks nice, you know, like that was my inner monologue. So I'm excited to try this one. You guys know I love palettes where there's shimmer and matte, shimmer and matte. I would prefer shimmer, matte, sequin and glitter, but shimmer and matte in the same color tone. I think it makes it so easy to do your makeup. Even if you're a beginner, you can go in and go in the crease or just on the lid and then add the same color tone shimmer on top. It's great. I love, love, love this setup. We're going in with my favorite brushes right now, the What's Up Beauty brushes. This is an R103. I'm gonna start in with the shade Nude and just go in the crease. You know, to everyone that's like, oh, shadow is over. Apparently, Jen whatever is saying that that's the case. And then I see Lana Del Rey at Coachella and I'm like, well, her shadow looks amazing. So call me an old lady. I am still wearing it. I loved Lana Del Rey's makeup at Coachella. Oh my gosh. All right, I wanna go in with Truffle. I'm now using an R102 just on the outer, very, very outer edge here, keeping it low. This is very much a trust the process because I'm gonna continue blending once I get my lashes on. Okay, now we're going back into the first brush, not picking anything else up and just kind of using circular motions on that outer edge. Not pulling the color in whatsoever, just blending and really not blending down here at all, kind of tucking that darker shade, the excess up into the crease. So it looks nice and smudgy and smoky. And now what I wanna do is take the shade Sparkling Sand and I'm gonna place this all over the lid. Gorgeous. Ooh, I love. That color is pretty. That's a hot color. Like that is like, we are smoky eyes, but kind of like a little bit effortless, a little bit like ugh, smudgy, who cares? Love that. So imagine this is like vacation, like a really nice evening dinner, evening event outside where you don't wanna to be too structured with the look. You wanna kinda, of, oh, just threw this on, it's cool. 
that kind of a thing, but it's smoky and cohesive and just pretty and accentuates you. You know, you wanna make sure your makeup is accentuating you. And what do we do now? I wanna go into Swan, just brighten up the inner corners a little bit. And that was not enough, so we're gonna go into Shimmering Pearl. That'll do it. Loving it, loving it. My lips have cooled down by the way, but that honestly was like level 10 spice. The gloss feels great. Now, mascara primer, mascara, but I think I do wanna put on this guy right here, the Killer Liner. This is a 36 hour hold liner. That is a huge claim. And this is in Espresso, Killer Espresso, which looks just about black. It was a really intriguing shade to me because I'm like, ooh, this is a black with a little bit of deep espresso richness to it. Likely going to be so flattering. I'm actually going to start with my waterline, kind of tight lining, keeping with the smudgy theme. I'm gonna lightly wiggle that through the lashes and kind of smudge it out in a second. But can you see the difference? So I'm not getting too much on the lid. I'm just going underneath. If this is so long wear, then it should be fine in the waterline. So I get the waterline and then I kind of cheat it up a little bit in between the lashes. And it just frames the eyes really, really beautifully that way. You can then go in on the top and it's almost like I dot the pencil. Like I'm just not trying to make a big line. I'm kind of dotting on that outer edge and then I'm gonna go in and kind of smudge it just a little bit. I really like so much of what I've tried. All right, we are almost in the home stretch. We're gonna now go in with this Better Than Sex Foreplay Primer. Really interesting that this is a primer because usually primers do not go on like mascara. They're usually like a white fiber situation. Like I feel like you could wear that just as mascara, but we're gonna let it dry for a moment and go in with the Better Than Sex Naturally. Now this is 98% naturally derived ingredients. This is said to be like the original iconic Better Than Sex mascara, but it will be likely more comfortable for those of us with sensitive eyes. I'm a contact lens wearer, so mascara is usually hit or miss with me. And this one has a lash nourishing complex to help condition lashes, still has that hourglass shape. There's bamboo fibers and a goji berry blend. I'm curious and I love the pink tube. I'm not mad about this. This is really nice. Here's to forgiving, moving on, moving forward. Honestly, I had been over the whole whatever for a long time. I just, I don't know. I wasn't really ready to hop on and be like, let's do everything Too Faced. But here we are. I mean, this mascara is really good. Like it's undeniably really, really good. The powder is really nice under the eyes. I will say I feel like it's not locking me in place as much as the Huda Beauty. That has just still been my go-to when I really need to lock things in with the weather heating up. It's this weird thing where I don't wanna wear matte foundation and have crunchy looking makeup, but I also need a powder that's gonna set whatever I put on in place and lock it in place so I don't have to keep applying more powder because then that can be a mess. So this powder, I think I would use under the eyes, but I am missing my Huda powder on the rest of the face. Like I can just tell. So that's interesting. Wish I was wearing a different highlighter. The blush has already faded quite a bit, but it's pretty. I do like it. I am gonna go ahead and seal everything in. I'm still on this one size on till dawn waterproof setting spray. Hopefully this will help. And there we have it, you guys, a full face of Too Faced. Did you ever think this would happen again? 
I did not, but I am all about trying new things, thinking in different ways, just kind of moving forward and having a lighter attitude about everything. So thank you for being with me. Thank you for hearing a little bit of the drama. I am not trying to stir it up, so please do not make this a thing. I just wanna have fun playing with makeup that I think is attractive that I wanna try. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, share it, leave me a comment. And other than that, you guys go and have a good one. I love you and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.